Number 13, what is the value of the limit shown below? Feel free to take a minute if you want to try this problem. Now, in the numerator, we have a trinomial. A trinomial is a three-term expression. A binomial is two terms, and if it has four more terms, it's typically just referred to as a polynomial. If it's only one term, it's a monomial. Now, we have a trinomial where the leading coefficient is 1. So we need to find two numbers that multiply to the constant term, which is negative 100, but we'll add to the middle coefficient, 21. So let's make a list. If we divide negative 100 by 1, we get negative 100. If we divide it by 2, we get negative 50. 3 doesn't go into 100. Next up is 4. If we divide it by 4, we get 25. Now notice that this adds up to negative 21. So if we divide by 25, we'll get negative 4. So these two, they multiply to negative 100, but add to 21. Now typically, when dealing with most trinomials, you'll see expressions like this. So to factor this expression, it would be x plus 25 times x minus 4. However, notice that the exponents are doubled. It's 4 and 2 instead of 2 and 1. So when we factor it, we're going to get the square root of x to the 4, which is x squared. So this trinomial can be factored like this, x squared plus 25 times x squared minus 4. So right now we have the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared plus 25 times x squared minus 4. On the bottom, notice that we have a difference of two perfect squares. So we could use the formula a squared minus b squared, which is a minus b times a plus b. a is 2x plus 3. b squared is 49. The square root of 49 is 7. So b is 7. Therefore, we're going to get a minus b, a is 2x plus 3, and then minus b, b is 7, and then we're going to get a plus b, 2x plus 3, and then plus 7. So that's how we could factor that expression. Now, x squared minus 4, we can also use the same formula to factor it as well. So right now we have the limit as x approaches 2. x squared plus 25, we can't factor that. If you have a sum of two cubes, I mean two squares, you can't factor that. You can only factor the difference of two perfect squares. If you do factor this, you're going to get imaginary numbers. You won't get uh, real numbers. x squared minus 4. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 4 is 2. One will be plus, the other will be minus. Now for this term, notice that we can combine 3 and negative 4. 3, I mean 3 and negative 7. 3 minus 7 is negative 4. So we're going to get 2x minus 4. Here we can combine 3 and positive 7. 3 plus 7 is 10, so we'll have 2x plus 10. Now, from 2x minus 4, we could take out the GCF, which is 2, and we'll get x minus 2. 
For 2x plus 10, we could do the same thing. We could factor out a 2, and we'll be left with x plus 5. So now we could cancel x minus 2. And at this point, we could use direct substitution. So replacing 2 or x with 2, we're going to have 2 squared plus 25, and then 2 plus 2. On the bottom, we have 2 times 2, and then 2 plus 5. 2 squared is 4. 4 plus 25 is 29. And then 2 plus 2 is 4. On the bottom, we have 2 times 2, which is 4. And 2 plus 5 is 7. We could cancel the 4, and we'll be left with the final answer, which is 29 over 7. So that's it for this problem. That's how we can evaluate this particular limit.